Obviously, yeah. Um, I think for me, it was just uh, just taking it day by day, just taking in all the coaching and stuff, and then um, just producing, producing on the field, just taking it in do, during practice and stuff, and then um, yeah, just going, just going from there. Do you think it helps? They always talk about having continuity up front. Um, along the offensive line and how it helps them. Does like does it help you that you know how these guys operate, how they move, how they work together? Oh, for sure. Yeah, I think it all just comes with reps as well. You know, just once you're getting more reps with them, and then it just comes second nature. Like you know who is blocking in for you, and then you know their strong weaknesses and all that. But then again, that's just for them as well. You know, who's thing, so. How, how does the run game get better from, from where it was, you know, at the end of the season? Like, it seemed like you guys you gotta do whatever you wanted out there. Yeah, shoot. Um, really just keep doing what we're doing. Yeah, you know, just uh, to really just uh, upgrade it, just 2.0, 2.0, you know, take what we learned from or what we did last year and then do it how we did this year. So it should be fun. What do you think about just the versatility of this offense and all the weapons you guys have? Yeah, so we've got uh, offensive. We got we got a lot of skill skill players. Skill players, big skill. You know, we got some. We got our old line backs. So, you know, we should uh, should do some great things. That's the plan. How do you feel like you measure the progression of the spring? How do you feel like okay, I'm getting better. We're getting better as an offense. I really just day, really it's just day by day, taking it day by day, and then um, that's that's really like the theme. Just taking it day by day. You know, learn from your mistakes and then just getting better. And not making the same one. I know that this is a ramp up period and you guys aren't able to go full go, but how anxious are you to see what this offense can do when you guys put the pads on? Oh, I'm so excited. Can't can't wait for the pads to come on, so you know, just to see what we, see what we can do, you know. I believe in us, so it should be should be fun. We were talking to Coach Petrie about, you know, you and Bijan having very different styles. Has there been a moment maybe whether you're watching film or just doing something off the field where he's seen something a little bit differently or you've seen something a little differently where you've kind of like learned from each other? Yeah, I think uh, really just like during our runs and then just in practice as well. Like, oh, what did you see here? Oh, I saw this. And then, oh, you, what you could have done. Like, oh, it was a good job. Like, just complimenting each other. I think that goes a long way. What's it been like getting to know him and just building that relationship? Yeah, no, no. Yeah, obviously, not only he's a good player on the field, but obviously having a great relation off the field is always great. And I think uh, we've bonded pretty well, you know, so I think it's been good. Can you tell me about Coach Petrie a little bit? Kind of what's he like? What, is he, what makes him an effective coach? Yeah, shoot. Coach Petrie. Yeah, there's only so much, so much I can say. You know, he's a great coach. Great coach. I think um, he has a lot of learning moments, and that's what's always great. It's always great, you know, having him teach like all like the little details. Like he's able to nitpick every one of them, and then have us uh, just practice it on the field. So you know, it's great. Always having a coach like that, so it's cool. I think he takes pride in being a teacher, and you kind of mentioned that. Like, how, how would you describe his, his style? Is it Oh, I always try to mix it the easiest way. Like you have a lot of la language and lingo, but whatever makes it easier for us to understand because he was a teacher once. Uh -huh, right. So uh, yeah, if you guys didn't know that, but yeah, being able to have us understand and uh, allow, allow us to play fast in our head so we can play fast on the field. So that's good. What do you guys call him? Coach, Coach Petrie or how do you? P, Petrie, yeah, <laughs> whatever you want, Coach. Tyler, man, you, uh, you talk about the language and everything. Do you feel like, you know, coming in, Last year, the difference between how others kind of you know, talk to you as far as with the playbook and uh, in, in those meetings and everything, like you see a difference in the language and how he's speaking with you and how you kind of communicate with, with Desmond and everybody else on the offense? Oh, yeah. Now, so like from last year, you're just learning the offense, but now I just have a lot of confidence, a lot of confidence. Just uh, just now it's just learning more of the details in the concepts and just being able to play fast with all the guys around me. Do you find yourself kind of like being that mentor to the younger guys? Um, maybe even be John Robinson when it comes to that Shoot. language and communicating. Yeah, I would, I would hope so. I would hope to think. Shoot, yeah. So. Anything else? All right. Thanks, Tyler. Between now and training camp, I know Desmond yesterday was talking about how a couple guys will get together and, and work on some stuff. What's the goal for you in that period? To do that, to, to work, work together and get right. Um, Who kind of facilitates that? <laughs> um, Honestly, <laughs> you can ask the man right here. <laughs> um, who facilitates that? Um, I think I think it's just on us and it's our job. I know, like we come out here to play football, so we're not doing the right things. I think it's it's on us to get out there and get good work. You know. So, so someone told me, and it's obvious because he's standing right there. The yeah. back is kind of an instigator with you guys. Uh, yeah. Describe <laughs> you that. Instigator. Describe that. Speak up so I can hear you. Speak up. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Uh, that's one of the voices right there that she's talking about. <laughs> no, but we love Mac, and he's been a great vet in our room to, to help us. He brings the energy every day, as you can see. He's yeah. always joking around, but at the same time, we're serious in that room. 
and uh, he also brings that as well. Obviously, it seems like the chemistry has come along really quickly mm -hmm. between Mac and Scotty and some of those guys that have been yeah. brought in. How do you make sure that the chemistry is where it is this early? Uh, again, that goes back to, to the guys that Coach Art brings in. Um, I think we're all like like-minded in a sense. You know, we come here and we, we do work, but at the same time, we'll have fun in certain ways, and I think that's what our, our group does. Are you excited to kind of see this playbook open up a little bit going into year two and the first two of each other? Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm just excited to see everybody get their opportunities and go out there and showcase to the world what they can do. Anything else? Sorry. All right. Thanks, Thanks, Appreciate it. it. Uh, really focus on fundamentals. Um, I think that's the best part of OTAs, and then uh, really kind of tune everything back in. You have a, you, you know what it's supposed to feel like, and luckily now being with uh, with uh, Drew and Caleb for so many years now, um, like the first day we're like, uh, that doesn't really feel right, and then like kind of slowly progress, and now it's like you're kind of hitting where you were uh, at the end of last season. One, yeah, I wanted to ask you about that kind of continuity. Like, how, how I hear that a lot, and it helps. But mm -hmm. how, from your perspective, just like how does that manifest itself? Yeah, uh, just for offensive line, like you're fitting a block. So certain plays, I'm gonna have more responsibility, or Drew or Caleb does, and um, just the timing of who's leaving and when. And so to be able to have, they have that understanding with each other, and so I can just say, hey, I felt weird on this. He did too, and we can kind of just be like you know what, maybe it was the defensive look or like maybe it was, you know, hey, I was a little wide on that. And so um, when you kind of have that common knowledge together and uh, reps, you can really kind of focus in and get it. So it's it's feeling perfect. The fact that it's not even just the right side of the line, it's like the entire line. I mean, we'll see what happens. Obviously, at the left guard spot and mm -hmm. in the center. But it seems like that level of just familiarity, does that put you guys in a different spot than maybe even a year ago? Because, you know, a year ago at this point, you had no idea who you were playing next to. Please yeah, please. and it's 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 really important. I really speak to that because really, you know, obviously working together as a unit as an offensive line, but like directly Caleb um, and Drew, but they're doing the same thing on the other side. But even to the sense of like if Jake makes a call all the way on the left side, um, it's got to get echoed all the way down. And so that's not a skill that we're relearning. It's kind of something we're tuning uh, or working on instead of having to like fully learn a, a new skill. So it's really nice um, when you have that, especially, you know, in somebody like Jake, who's as smart as he is. So if he gives you a call or something, it's almost always correct. So um, that kind of really helps you out, even all the way on the other side. Is Jake the one make, was Jake the one making the calls last year? Or? Uh, no, I mean, uh, Drew, everything runs through Drew. Okay. Um, what were you saying making calls? So I, don't know if I don't know if there's a blitz or something on the left side. Like okay. it, Obviously, it impacts everybody. So um, I was just saying, because Jake is so far away, everybody has to make calls on the offensive line. And everybody's got to communicate. Um, but it starts with Drew and Dez, so, um, but those guys do a great job. How, from the Dez you saw a year ago at this time to now, what's been the biggest change? I mean, uh, um, he's just taking command of everything. He's doing a great job. Um, he's staying true to himself, which is always cool, and he's the same person he was, but um, just the ownership that you take and stuff, is it's cool. When you're a rookie, you're just, uh, speaking from my own experience, it's just you're, you know, you're drowning your information, you're learning, you're trying to figure out how to be a pro. And then I think with everybody, you see that year two jump, it's, they understand what it takes. And then now they're just, you know, that's why the year two jump is always so big. I know the hitting hasn't started yet, but is there anything you can glean from the guys on the other side of the ball and just how that defensive front is going to be able to call, cause problems for opponents? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're a great front. Um, I'm really excited to watch, you know, obviously to compete against them because it's going to make us really ready and prepared for the season. But then, you know, excited to watch what they can do to other people. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna be really fun. It's definitely gonna be a physical camp, which is which is definitely fun <laughs> for sure. How do you kind of compare the feeling around this time to what it was last year? Just maybe like it's a lot of the continuity and just knowing these guys a little bit more than last year. Maybe is that kind of the biggest thing, or is it something else? Uh, I would definitely say that. I think just uh, overall, every time, every team, every year, in this time of the year. Uh, is, you know, you're very excited, very optimistic about the season uh, to come. But, you know, we've put in a lot of great work. Um, and then as an offensive line, you know, we're lucky that a lot of us have been together for a long time. So every single day, it's kind of cool. Uh, just the way you approach coming to work every day, if you're having a bad day, you know, people don't have to ask you if you're having a bad day. They know you're having a bad day. But, like, in the same sense, 
you know the standard that you have to be. So um, those guys bring you along, and that's the that's the cool part about continuity too. Is just like you have those relationships with guys. You understand how everybody like works and stuff, and so you don't you don't have to bring anybody along because you can read each other, I guess. This more was added on the offensive side of the ball as far as the field position standpoint. Um, does your mind kind of wander sometimes about the possibilities of what this offense can be? Uh, it's fun. Um, it's fun as an offensive lineman. You, especially now, like. Um, what the style of practice is right now, you can really kind of, you're not so much, you don't have a guy running down in the middle of you, so um, <laughs> you can kind of see a lot more, and then um, when you take the time in team meetings and they highlight all the plays skill guys make, it's, it's really exciting and fun to watch. Um, I think th the biggest appreciation is almost when you have those small moments where you're able to step back and kind of see it, and you're like, wow, the, you know, there's some talented guys, which is, which is always really cool. Anything else? All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Against the Chargers, yeah. um, and that was um, like only, only a few weeks of doing it, um, and I had a decent comfort level there doing it. Um, but I knew going forward that um, there was there was a lot of growth to be had. So then, uh, got hurt that game, came back off IR, um, and throughout that entire process of rehabbing, I really focused on, like I said, just the repetition of doing things from left-handed stance and and um, getting used to the spacing of left guard. Um, so I was able to do that in those last two games, um, which gave me a greater level of comfort at that position and then um, definitely kind of gave me some points of focus going into the offseason on things to get better at. Do you see yourself only as a left guard now or a center still? No, I mean, for you? Like yeah, how yeah. Do you view that? Um, versatility is huge, um, <coughs> especially here. It's something that Coach Ledford loves. Um, and so, yeah, I'll, I'll always be willing to play any position. Matt, um, Officer Smith always talks about how we preach competition about how, you know, when you come in, he wants everybody to compete and be a really competitive training camp. Do you, with Matthew Bergeron being drafted and him being been moved to guard, making that move, do you feel, do you think about, is that part of your thought process as far as getting ready for the season, or is it kind of like you kind of focus solely on yourself? Um, like the competitive nature of the league is something that, like we all know, exists at all times, um, regardless of how apparent it is, whether you're, rotating with somebody every rep or you're taking all the reps, um, you know how quickly that could change. So it's really just a focus on growth and improvement when it comes to yourself as much as possible. And do you kind of pull from like when you were in competition with Drew Dahlman? Yeah, kind of yeah, into that? for you sure. Like um, yeah, it's something like you definitely got to get used to in the NFL. Um, going back to like rookie year, second year, third year, um, that's something that's always going to exist. Um, and it's fun. It's a fun part of what we do. So. And how do you feel Coach Lever has kind of handled that? Do you feel like he's – you know, bring you, both of you guys along to make sure that, you know, it's a, it's a healthy competition? Yeah, he, d he does a great job of doing that. Um, really, the, the culture we have within the old line room really promotes, like, healthy competition. Um, and that's something that's happened in the past when guys have been competing for jobs. Um, and so there's never a personal level of animosity there. Everybody gets along really well, and we all have the best interest of the team in mind. Um, but then the competition drives, like, the individual performance to be better from everybody. So. Mm -hmm. I think it's a really, really healthy balance that we have in the line room. And how do you feel Coach Lever has helped you as an individual? Um, I would say over the past three years, just growing like mentally as far as confidence um, and letting us play pretty fr freely um, and then giving us direction when we needed it um, and being as technical as we needed to be at times with his instruction. Um, but, but like I said, at the same time, he does a great job of letting guys play their strengths. Um, so, so it's been fun. Do you get into the old, uh, there's apparently, you know, with uh, Ryan Nielsen and Coach Lefford, they can kind of been kind of barking at each other. Do you kind of get involved in it, or you kind of just kind of let that play out? Yeah, um, you know, it's uh, like OTAs are obviously a phase where we don't have full pads on or anything, and um, kind of the run game stuff is less physically intense. I'm sure when we get to training camp, um, when, when things kind of switch, it'll be interesting to see. I'm not sure how it'll all play <laughs> out, but, um, but yeah, I've heard about it, um, so we'll see.